Hello everyone, and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to configure Proxmox to enable GPU pass-through and PCIe youth pass-through. There are many reasons why you want to use GPU pass-through as well as PCIe pass-through, one of which is remote Proxmox parsec machine. This can be used as remote gaming client throughout parsec and many other different options. This can be used for 3D accelerated workflows and most of all gaming. So to get started, we're going to make sure your hardware supports VT-D as a bare minimum, interrupt mapping, and your UFI BIOS. So let's get started. So with a bare install of Proxmox, I've got here, we're going to want to configure Grub. So Grub is pretty much the bootloader for, Deb for Debian, which is Proxmox is built upon. So what we see here, we have this Grub command line Linux default. So we've got to change this add a few options. So we're going to change it from being quiet to if you're using an Intel processor, Intel underscore IOMMU equals on. Though if you are using AMD processor, just change Intel to AMD. So some processors such as the Xeon E3 12000 series, 1200 series, sorry, have some slight issues. There are many different types of command lines that you need to add to Grub to get it to work, though this will not be covered today. So once you've added all the necessary command line options to your Grub configuration, using nano, control X, U to save, then we want to update Grub. So I recommend doing this from the iDRAC if you're using a Dell server or your KVM equivalent, though SSH can do just fine. Next we need to add it the edit the VFIO modules. This allows Proxmox to take advantage of these PCA passer and IO menu. So in a nano ETC modules. And here as description, kernel modules for load boot time. So we need to add one, VFIO, VFIO underscore IOMMU underscore type one, VFIO underscore PCI, and VFIO VIR QFD. And then save and exit. So next we need to allow IOMMU interrupt, interrupt remapping. I'm just gonna copy the command I have for it, paste it in. All of these will be left below in a pastebin file, so you can just jump on and grab the grab the commands. Also, there'll be a Reddit guide that we'll be following along with. So once you've done both of the IO and then you interrupt remapping, and so pretty much we're just telling Proxmox that we're allowing safe inter unsafe interrupts and then so it's KVM and then pretty much from there we're good to go though we don't want Proxmox using our GPUs so what we need to do we need to blacklist the drivers so each one so I'm just gonna put them all in here's uh, Radeon so that's the AMD processors so not processor graphics card, so RX 480, RX 580, and here's our NVIDIA. There's two for NVIDIA, not too sure why though. NVIDIA likes to use different driver names, these are for your GTX series onwards, and your Tesla cards, and Quadros. So now what we want to do, we just need to see if pretty much our GPUs are being recognized. So if we just clear the console, and ls pci dash v so what this will do is it gonna print out all the different buses and graphics cards that are in the system so here is one graphics card that's in a gtx 1050 should be two in this machine so just scroll up or down find it eventually so you want to keep note of these numbers here. So these are pretty much the identifiers that the system uses. So the base one 
0.00.0 is the main controller and 00.1 is usually the audio device so that's your HDMI pass through so we want to make sure we keep and store these somewhere because we're going to need them at a later date so what we're going to do is we're going to find one of our GPUs so just open up a notepad so we got 44001 so that's our GTX 1050 we've also got GTX 1060 So here's our 1050 and here's our GeForce GTX 1060. So we are on 05, okay. So 05. Zero zero dot zero. So yep, zero. So what we do from here, I'll just clear the console. And so what we do now, we do ls pci dash n dash s. So we use this number identifier that we grabbed from the command before. It gives us both of our identifiers. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this. Except we just gotta get rid of the zero so we get both of them. There we go. We'll just store these and I'll just repeat the step for the second graphics card. Though if you only have one graphics card, this is just a tad easier than with multiple. So once we've done this command, we just gotta edit a command such as this one for our graphics cards pretty much so we just take these numbers here and just fill in and replace and to add more just a comma so this is pretty much telling Proxmox not to use these graphics cards and these are pretty much allowed for pass through with the disable underscore VGA1 so we're just gonna copy through this command paste it in and we're going to update with update init ramps dash u. So this is going to create a new boot image for Proxmox to make sure GPUs aren't being initialized. Alright, so this command all done now so what we need to do last step is just reset the server um, if you have anything else running on the server this will be a time to close and save all running processes this is going to restart so what we do now we can log in we can either do this through SSH or you can do it through the actual KVM I prefer to do this on KVM and just reboot I'll be back when the server's restarted. Okay, so now that the server's back online, we can get to creating VM with our newly passed through graphics. Graphics cards and PCA devices, keep in mind this won't network cards, RAID controllers, anything just about PCA Express. So I've loaded, just load up a Ubuntu Mint instance, so. <laughs> IT GPU. Uh, here we go, our Linux mate. Yep, hard disk, yeah, it's fine. I'll just be running it live anyway. Right. So, what we want to do is once this VM pops up, so 
first thing I'm going to change to UEFI. This ensures that our graphics card UEFI drivers, like vBIOS, actually loads. Create an EFI disk because we are using UEFI. Change the machine type to Q35. So, what we're going to do when we first boot without the graphics card to see if we're all <coughs> working. Uh, start Linux main. Alright. For this to boot up. Alright. So we're gonna boot up t terminal instance. Ls. PCI, and as you can see, there's no graphics card currently attached, so it's okay. I'm just gonna shut down. Okay, so while that's shutting down, the way we add graphics card is we go PCI device, and we're not gonna select primary GPU, otherwise, we're gonna get an output on the graphics card, which we don't want. But if this is for a Parsec rig or RDP rig, you would definitely want to ch check primary GPU. So what we're going to add, we're going to add the 1060, we're going to add the dot zero as dot one of this ID is also passed through. All functions, make sure Romba and PCI Express is enabled. I'm just going to add the device. So I just want to wait for the VM to shut down. Alright, sweet. Okay, so should be able to start up now. Shouldn't be any errors. Alright. I'm just going to boot it up. Gonna open up a terminal again. LS PCO. And there we are. Here is our NVIDIA GPU successfully passed through to a VM in Proxmox Station for part two. And part two, we're gonna be looking at creating a Parsec instance for remote gameplay. So thanks for tuning in and if you like the video, sure, thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Cheers, guys.